can see you. Ask you to Squirrel Squared. Hey, squirrels! Welcome back to Squirrel Squared. Today, I'm going to be reviewing all the books that I read in January 2019. My first book is The Dragon with a Chocolate Tart. It's really funny because it's about this dragon that turns into a human when she eats enchanted chocolate. I like this book because the girl in it is very funny. She has to learn to live with humans. And after reading this book, I realise how difficult it is. Because we've got so many things that outsiders just don't know how to do. Like turning on a telly. They've never seen a telly. so I recommend this book to people who are into funny books and it's pretty easy to read. When I started reading it I thought I want to finish this because it's super interesting. I recommend it to anyone who likes funny books and delicious things. <laughs> My next book is Kid Normal and the Rogue Heroes. A very exciting adventure book because it's all about this kid who has no superpowers and has friends who has superpowers. I like this book because it's very funny because this boy, Merv Cooper, he has no superpowers. Everyone he knows has superpowers. There's one bad person called Magpie and he has the power to take away superpowers. So only Murph Cooper can defeat him. And in the end, he's the one who saves them all. Just goes to show, even if you don't have superpowers, you can save people. It taught me that anyone can be a hero as long as they want to. I think everyone should read this book because it's absolutely funny. Even though it's pretty long, it's also pretty easy because there's not a lot of words on each page. People who like stories about superheroes and adventure, fighting crime, this is the book for you. So, my next books are Beast Quest. I read five of them, but as you can see, I have loads more to read. My favourite one out of all of these was the last one. It's got a scorpion man. I really like it because the author, Adam Blade, really thought about the describing words he used to describe all of the things. Beast Quest is a series of books which talks about the main character Tom fighting different beasts to so serve good ones. It's a continuing story. They're not like individual stories. They continue. The next one is a little different. It's called Storia di una gabbianella e del gatto che le insegna a volare. It's in Italian. It's by the author Louis Abulvida. The story is about this seagull who gets stuck in a pool of tar or oil. She lays an egg just before she dies and this big black cat has to take care of the egg and also teach it to fly, which seems impossible but he manages to do it. It's a very emotional book. At the start I felt really sad and at the end I felt happy because... Well, I don't want to spoil it, but I felt happy. In the middle, it was kind of like exciting because they were racing to try to save the poor seagull. I really like this book. One, because it's in Italian, and two, because the story itself is very exciting and interesting. I recommend it to anyone who likes emotional books, who likes having a book that makes you think or like feel emotions really strongly, because that's what this book does. These are the books I've read in January 2019. I really liked all of them and it was a pleasure reading them. Have you read any of these or do you know any of the authors? Comment down below. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Bye squirrels. Welcome back to Squirrel Squirt. Oops. No, my wizard. What? Puff of... <laughs> it's just...